Welcome to another RSR. Tonight we are recapping the group stage of League C and League A of the 2024-25 CONCACAF Nations League and predicting the play-ins between the League C top four and the bottom four of League A and the quarterfinals in League A. Let's see how we do that in Spanish. Reaction de la... Faz de grupos de la Liga C y Liga E y predicciones de la repechaje de la ganador de la Liga C contra eliminado de la Liga E y cortos de final de la Liga E de la Liga de Nations de la CONCACAF. Actually, that one's so bad. There we go. <laughs> That's actually, I'm pretty impressed with myself there. Okay, we'll start with League C because this matters. League C finished yesterday. The League C results. Group A, Barbados with 12 points in first place, plus 13. Bahamas, second place with four points, minus three. U.S. Virgin Islands, third place, one point, minus 10. Barbados dominated everybody. Bahamas got a win over USVI and drew them. Barbados beat the crap out of everybody. Barbados is the still somehow the second best team in League C for those playing spots somehow because Belize was even better. I'm not surprised, but let's look at my Group A predictions. I had no idea Barbados would be this good. I was absolutely wrong on Group A. I had USVI advancing wrong. Barbados finishing third, wrong. Bahamas finishing second, which was right. One less point, but pretty good. Group B, number one, Belize, 12 points plus nine goal differential. Anguilla, three points minus one, second place. Turks and Caicos Islands, three points minus eight goal differential. Belize wins every game. Anguilla and Turks and Caicos trade wins. Belize was still second place comparatively to Barbados. Barbados was the best team, then Belize, then the Group C winners in St. Kitts and Nevis. But when it comes to Group B, had Belize finishing first with 12 points, that was correct. And Gio with four points, second place. They end up getting three, but I was right there. Turks and Caicos, one point. They won a game, but finished third. I was right about that. Group C, St. Kitts and Nevis, 10 points, plus seven goal differential. Second place, Cayman Islands, seven points, minus one goal differential. Third place, British Virgin Islands, zero points, minus six goal differential. I'm a bit shocked about that. I expected better out of the BVI, but St. Kitts seemed like they were romping to a advancement to the play-in. Cayman Islands played pretty well. They were the best second place team, if you look at it. Cayman Islands, seven points, minus one. Second place, Bahamas in the second place ranking, four points minus three. Anguilla, the third best second place team, three points minus one. When it comes to Group C, I was right about the order completely. Seven out of nine on Group or League C and the play-in seeds. I had that sort of wrong. So, going in. So, Barbados, best team out of League C. Belize, second best team out of League C. St. Kitts and Nevis, third best Cayman Islands, fourth best. Seven out of nine on League C. We'll leave that as it is. Now, the CONCACAF Nations League, Group A, League A, Group A results. Sixth place, Guyana, one point with eight, minus eight goal differential. i not really surprised. They, they had their moments, but I'm not really surprised. Fifth place, Guadalupe, four points, minus three goal differential. That sounds about right. Let's see. League A predictions. Guyana, Guadalupe, 6th and 5th. I had that totally right. Fourth place is Martinique with 5 points, minus 1 goal differential. Had them finishing 3rd, but that still is eliminated 4th place. So, still had them getting eliminated. 3rd place, Guatemala, 7 points, plus 1 goal differential. Suriname whooped ass on Guyana to get into the knockout stages. Flip that goal differential heavily. Guatemala are out because they lost to Costa Rica in Costa Rica. It's hard to beat Costa Rica in Costa Rica. That's the problem. It's hard to do. Very hard to do. 
and Suriname opened a can of whoop ass on Guyana. They didn't play so well throughout the group, but they got enough points and they scored enough goals in that penultimate, not even penultimate, final game to get on to the knockout stage. I was wrong about that. I had no expectation for that. I think I had Suriname. Actually, no, I did have Suriname going through in second place because <laughs> I had Costa Rica finishing fourth. I had Guatemala winning the group and Costa Rica won the group with eight points. Two wins, two draws, plus six goal differential. Costa Rica started to turn it around, even though Alfaro went full Merc and left them. Pulled a Fernando Gago. They still pulled it off. Good for them. So, when it comes to Group A, on my predictions for League A, had three out of six correct on placement, four out of six correct on advancement or elimination. Ain't too bad. Group B... Sixth place, French Guiana, one point minus three goal differential. They got their shit rocked game after game. Simple as. Cuba, three points, minus two goal differential. And it was all three draws. Draw with Jamaica, draw with Trinidad. They drew three times. That's how they got their three points, minus two goal differential. Still relegated, though. I still have French Guiana, Cuba... 1.3 points. Pretty much on the money there. Fourth place, Trinidad and Tobago. Five points minus two goal differential. Trinidad probably was the biggest letdown of this window or these two windows in my book. I was expecting better out of Trinidad. And what they did was they choked incessantly. They absolutely choked incessantly. It wasn't even funny. I hate it. Third place, Los Piñoleros finished third with seven points, a zero goal differential. So Honduras, even with the goal differential and the win over French Guiana for Los Piñoleros, Honduras still advances with the draw. If they had lost, they would have been out. But they drew Jamaica. It was a boring nil-nil draw. Horrible game. Didn't do RSR for it because there was no reason to. Plus four goal differential for Honduras with seven points. That's why they finished second and advance. Jamaica wins the group. Eight points plus three goal differential. Not as dominant as I would have expected for Jamaica, which, you know what? Steve McLaren's football is ugly as all hell. Let's just be totally honest. It, it's horrible. It, it's horrible. They are wasting that golden generation. I hate it personally, but it is what it is. So that's League Group B. So when it comes to results on Group B, I had three out of six correct on placement. That was French Guiana, Cuba, Jamaica. Four out of six advancement or elimination, which was Los Piñoleros getting eliminated. And Trinidad got eliminated, so that's out. And Honduras made it through, so that's out. So, boom. So, advancement or elimination. So, one better on advancement or elimination. Completely correct. Three out of six on both. That's kind of ironic. Uh, yeah, that would go there. Okay. Don't need those. Playing predictions. We'll start with those because those matter less. Means they go to the Gold Cup prelims. They have to win a play-in to go to the Gold Cup prelims over two legs. So there's that. Play-in one, Guadalupe versus the Cayman Islands. I got Guadalupe winning over two legs because Guadalupe has a lot of talent. Cayman Islands, comparatively, not so much. Comparatively, not so much. I think Guadalupe has a good bit of talent. It does suck they went down. But again, let's look at the group they were in. They always were Costa Rica, Martinique, Suriname, Guatemala. That was always going to be a tough sled. They got talent, and they did have their moments in that group. So, I think Guadalupe should easily walk over to Cayman Islands and go to the Gold Cup prelims. Play in two, Cuba versus St. Kitts and Nevis. St. Kitts and Nevis wins because you know what? They've been playing some really good football over the past two months. Cuba they haven't really had the goal-scoring touch. It's more of the defense. I think St. Kitts does have a better offense. Defense, it's good enough not to let Cuba score over two legs. I think St. Kitts will do enough to advance. Play in three. French Guiana versus Belize. I'm going with Belize. That might be the bigger upset that I'm going for. Belize wins. I think Belize is building up something well in CONCACAF. 
I think they've got a good team. They've got a great side. It's a very interesting dynamic, so to speak, with them. And I think they could beat French Guiana. Playing for Guyana versus Barbados. I'm going with Guyana. Because even though Barbados was the best team in League C, there were positives about Guyana. They weren't... The number of points that they got doesn't really tell the story, I would say, comparatively. I mean, one point, they, they had their moments when it came to this tournament. I can't be too harsh. They do have good players. Quillen Roberts is still good in goal. I think Guyana can beat Barbados. Really, I think they can. Finally, the quarterfinals. What you all came here to hear me talk about, probably. Quarterfinal one, Panama versus Costa Rica. I got Panama winning. Costa Rica might be okay right now. They might be starting to reload and looking better and finding ways to win. But Panama are the... Right now, with Jamaica, the way they hired Steve McLaren and the way they're playing, Panama's the fourth best team in CONCACAF. They're the best of the rest. Right now, I would believe Panama are the best of the rest. Jamaica had a argument until Hall Grimson left. Yes, Jamaica still has the same players, but my God, the way that they play under Steve McLaren is the ugliest football. It is Brexit football. It wastes all these talents. I mean, they've played horribly for the past two windows. Like, they've scraped through getting two wins and two draws. Yeah, they still won the group, but they look fraudulent as all hell doing it. Panama, on the other hand... Gave Canada and USA a fight. I think they're better than Costa Rica. Panama advances to the semifinals. Is it going to be tight? Yes, because Costa Rica plays in Costa Rica, the first leg. Panama will keep it close enough to where they win in Panama, because it's hard to win in Panama as well. Quarterfinal two, United States versus Jamaica. If Hall Grimson was still there, I'd pick Jamaica. He's not, though. You see, Mauricio Pochettino was not the cure-all that we thought he would be. That first window was horrible. The USA are still weak mentality players. The players on the pitch still have a weak mentality. They're still horrible on the road. And at home, isn't the best. Jamaica's better than Trinidad with the players on the pitch. The managing is horrible. I think the USA, they will not dominate Jamaica. But they will find enough to get through. It might be a nil-nil draw down at the National Stadium. I would expect something like that, but not a loss. But the USA wins 2-1 at home. Some like that. By the skin of their teeth. It would be funny if it was a 2-2 draw. The away goals had Jamaica win. But that's not out of the realm of possibility. But I believe that USA still has some kinks to work out. I still believe that they are open to being upset, but Jesus Christ, Jamaica, the way they are now, the way they're coached, it's not happening. USA advances by the skin of their teeth. And honestly, is the fourth best team out of the quarterfinal performances. Quarterfinal three, Canada versus Suriname. Canada versus Suriname. Canada will beat Suriname's ass. Canada got the easiest tie of the four. And with the way they play under Jesse Marsh and the way that Menzo coaches that team, I hate to tell you my Surinamese friends who are here from the Robin Hood stuff and all the Suriname games, you better not be spouting off like you were in 2021 saying, oh, we'll beat Canada. No, you're losing over both legs, probably 3-0 in both. You're getting your ass kicked. It's just that simple. If I was the coach, I'd respect you a bit more, but I'm not. So, if I was the coach of the team, I'd respect you a bit more. But right now, no. Because I'm not. I'm not saying you're trash, but Canada's way better than you. They're the best team in CONCACAF right now. You got a horrible manager. Who's to say that he'll put Han and Goal over... The other goalies, Fonkel 
of course, and Vasin, which would be a stupid pick, but Menzo's done it. Who's to say, right? The way that offense plays, they've been struggling. It's not like the, the big players they have, like Farai, have blown off the page. You know, it, it's not. I mean, seriously, Suriname, they're not as... You would think they'd be better, but they're not. Honestly, the 2021 Suriname team, I'd be more afraid of playing this Canada team than the current Suriname team, frankly. Speaking of that 2021 team, I'd be more afraid of that than this. And we saw how much of that was an ass-kicking. So, oh, in Chicago, Illinois, by the way, they weren't even playing in Canada or Suriname, and that was an ass-kicking. So, Yeah, I think we know where that one's going. Canada's probably going to be the first team, the best team in the semifinal ranking just because of the tie that they got. But they're going to make it work. They're going to show that they deserve to be there because they kicked Suriname's ass. Quarterfinal four, Mexico versus Honduras. Mexico. Mexico versus Honduras once again for the second straight year of the quarterfinals. I don't think Honduras will be as close as this time as they were the last, even though Mexico's even worse this year than they were last year. And Vasco isn't that great of a manager. And Mexico is still, this is the worst Mexico team ever. But Mexico, if they found a way once, they'll find a way again. Mexico advances. Third seed. No, second seed. Either way, semifinal once, Canada versus USA, the way I see it playing out by semifinal or quarterfinal performances and semifinal two is Mexico versus Panama man what if Canada could beat the USA and play Mexico that would be it's not out of the realm possibility but there you go with that being said if you like this video like it share subscribe you know what it is tell your friends hit that like button hit that subscribe button hit that bell notification if you want to subscribe send some chats on the live streams comment on this video put us a playlist share us friends and family all that great stuff I will see you on Saturday for a live watch along of both Inter Miami versus New England Revolution and Seattle Sounders versus the Portland Timbers on decision day in MLS. Two lives, one review. The Portland-Seattle game is getting reviewed. The Eastern game is just getting alive. But we're going to try to see if Miami can make history and can Portland become the home team in the wild card series or the wild card game in the West because it's Cascadia Cup to finish the season. No Toronto. I picked the games that I thought were the best, and Toronto's eliminated. So I picked the games that I thought were the best off each conference. History and Cascadia. I think that's a pretty good pick. With that being said, I'll see you on Saturday. I'm Ryan, and I'm out. Peace. Have a great rest of your week. I'll see you Saturday.